In today's video, we're going to be talking about rotation of the spine. So in life, we tend to walk and move in one plane, the sagittal plane, which means we move forward and backwards. We don't often move side to side. We walk forward, we run forward, we do most things going forward. What ends up happening is we lose some rotation in the spine, which leads to further injury, other issues that will become problems later in life. So in Pilates, we have several exercises in which we rotate the spine. We're gonna show you one today called SAW. So now a little bit of anatomy. So the lumbar spine, lower portion of the spine, doesn't have much rotation. It moves a little bit, but not much. The rotation in the spine really takes place where the lower spine meets the middle spine. So where the lumbar spine meets the thoracic spine. Most of the rotation takes place up in the thoracic spine and then up into the cervical spine up here. So, which is why we're sort of at waist level, we twist from there the best. Um, now, unfortunately, we don't often just move our upper body, we move our entire body. So, like I said, we lose rotation as we get older. Uh, we also tend to twist to one side more than the other because we are creatures of habit. Our phone sits on the same side, our computers are on the same side. We tend to move towards the same side all the time. I'm gonna show you an exercise to do in Pilates called saw, and we're gonna start working on how to rotate the spine in a safe way. Sam is gonna be helping me today. Bring your arms out to the letter T position. Now, she's not gonna move her arms because that, oh, sorry, just arms. She's not gonna move her arms because then we're not moving our spine at all. We're actually gonna start moving from the waist level, which is where that junction takes place. So she's gonna go ahead and lift up nice and tall. She's gonna twist as far as she can. Now when she twists, she pulls in a little bit here. She's gonna drop both arms a little bit, reach this pinky finger down towards that pinky toe. In Pilates, we never do an unsupported stretch, so she's still pulling back into my hand with her core. Now she's gonna roll back up to a tall straight spine and twist back center. And now she's gonna twist the other way. So she's twisting from here, sorry, I'm in your way. And now she's gonna drop both arms a little bit. She's gonna pull back on that left side and she's gonna reach. So she still has weight underneath this cheek here and she's gonna keep twisting that torso so she's lengthening through here. Now inhale, lift up tall and come back center. Nice, and twist again. Keep those ribs pulled back and she's gonna round up and over. So we're moving that spine so we can open up the chest, open up the shoulders and lift up tall and center and twist again one more time. All right, she's gonna pull back here and she's gonna round over. Remember that weight is seated into this hip and she's gonna roll up tall and come back center and relax. So twisting, rotating the spine keeps the spine supple and prevents further injury. If you have any more questions regarding this exercise or any other Pilates exercises, visit our website and like this video on our YouTube channel.